recording in progress. Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is applications of partial differential equation. This uh, this is sixth unit. Now there are three types of equations: that one-dimensional wave equation, one-dimensional heat equation, and two-dimensional heat equation. Now we are going to discuss one by one. Now the first one is wave equation, one-dimensional wave equation. Now, Formation of wave equation. Consider a uniform elastic string of length L stretched tightly between two points zero and A, with zero as the origin and horizontal and vertical lines through the origin as coordinate axes. Here, assume displacement y as a function of distance x and time t. Then the one-dimensional wave equation is given by del square y by del t square is equal to t square to del square y by del x square. This is the one-dimensional wave equation. Here, y is the function of distance x and time t. So, y is dependent variable and y depends on x and t. So, the derivative is here partial because y depends on two variables, x and t. So, the derivative is here partial derivative and the equation is the one-dimensional wave equation is del square y by del t square is equal to t square into del square y by del x square. Now, here where c is Sorry, where c square is c upon m. Now, what is c? T is tension to the string, and m is mass per unit length of the string. Okay. Now, solution of the wave equation. As we are solving the problem on vibrations, therefore y must be periodic function of x and t. Thus, the most suitable solution is here. Y of x t is equal to c one cos m x plus c two sin m x. Another bracket C three cos C M T plus C four sine C M T. Okay, this is the most suitable solution here for the wave wave equation. We remember this solution here. Uh, if in place of C square, this is a term P upon M. We can uh, denote it by uh, other letter also A square or P square. So if uh, in the given example it is uh, here, the notation is C square. Then in solution also, that second bracket term is C three cos C M T plus C four sine C M T. If here it is A square in place of C square, if there is A square, then in your solution also there will be a change. In second bracket, the term will be C three cos A M T plus C four sine A M T. So remember the change. And if C square is absent here, if its value is one, then it will be absent here. And then in solution also that C will be absent. This is the second bracket term of solution. C three cos C M T. C square uh, its value is one. Then C is also one, and so the term will be C three cos M T plus C four sin M T. Remember. So we are going to use this most suitable solution here. Y of x t is equal to C one cos M X plus C two sin M X. Another bracket C three cos C M T plus C four sin C M T. C M T. Okay. Now the example. We are going to discuss here the example. If del square y by del t square is equal to a square into del square y by del x square represents the vibrations of a string of length l fixed at both ends, find the solution with boundary condition. Y of zero t is equal to zero. Y of l t is equal to zero. Del y by del t at t is equal to zero is zero. Y of x comma zero is k into l x minus x square, where x lies between zero to l. Okay. If uh, del square y by del t square is equal to a square into del square y by del x square, represent the vibrations of a string of length l fixed at both ends. Find the solution with boundary condition. These boundary conditions are given, and this is the given equation is of a wave equation. You know the most suitable solution. Actually, in uh, here the Standard equation is del square y by del t square is equal to c square into del square y by del x square. Here the term is c square. In place of c square, the notation is here a square. So the most suitable solution is here for the given wave equation. Y of x t is equal to c one cos m x plus c two sin m x. In another bracket, c three cos a m t plus c four sin a m t. Because the the term is here a square with del square y by del Del x square. So here in solution also, 
the second bracket term is c3 plus amp plus c4 sin amp okay so this is the most suitable most suitable solution here now using boundary conditions how to remove all the arbitrary constants here c1 c2 c3 c4 these are the arbitrary constants so using the boundary conditions we are going to remove one by one the arbitrary constants so first uh, condition is here y of 0 t is equal to 0 y of 0 t you compare y of 0 t with y of x t so if we compare this y of 0 t with y of x t it means that the value of x is 0 initially because this uh, length of the string it is uh, measured by the variable x and the length is 0 to l so initially x is 0 and uh, at one stage it will be l other another end it will be l x is equal to l so these are the two boundary conditions for length. Third one is del y by del t at t is equal to zero. It is zero. And fourth condition is y of x comma zero is equal to k into bracket l x minus x square where x lies between zero to l. Okay. Now we have considered the most suitable solution. Now apply the condition one. First condition is y of zero comma t is zero. Means you put x is equal to zero in equation number one. You put x is equal to zero, then y of zero t is equal to now x is 0 so cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so the first term will be c1 plus c2 into sine 0 because x is 0 x 0 means sine function is 0 sine 0 is 0 so this second term 0 so c1 plus 0 another bracket it is free uh, there are two terms and both are free from x so the term as it is c3 cos amt plus c4 sine amt okay as it is now you know that y of 0 t is to value is 0. So put y of 0 t is equal to 0 in LHS. And this product c1 in bracket c3 cos mt, mt plus c4 sin mt is equal to 0. This bracket term, sorry, this product is 0. Means at least one of them is 0. That's why the product is 0. Now can we say this bracket term is 0? If this bracket term is 0, if you put its value 0 in equation number 1, what will happen? The total solution y of x t will be 0. So this bracket term is not zero. C1 is zero. If we put C1 is equal to zero in equation number one, we can say C1 is zero. If C1 is zero, first term will be zero, and the remaining terms will be added. So it may be possible that C1 is zero. So after applying first condition, we are getting here C1 is equal to zero. So now put in equation one, C1 is equal to zero. So we have removed the first arbitrary constant C1 by applying first condition. C1 is 0 to put in equation 1 because it is the most suitable solution. So y of x t is equal to C1 is 0. So first term he is so in bracket, first term is absent C1 0 plus C2 sin mx and the second bracket term as it is C3 cos mt plus C4 sin mt. Okay. Now differentiate with respect to t. We get See, what is our next step? You differentiate the equation number. This is equation number 2. Differentiate it with respect to t. And so we get dy, del y by del t is equal to y of xt is the solution. So differentiate partially with respect to t. So del y by del t is equal to c2 sin mx as it is. We are differentiating with respect to t. So c2 sin mx as it is. Now you differentiate with respect to t, the bracket term c3 cos amt. The derivative of cost function is minus sin amt into am c3 as it is. So minus c3 am into sin amt plus a derivative of sin amt. Derivative of sin amt is cos amt into am c4 as it is. So c4 into am into cos amt that is complete. So here, so this is the derivative term, derivative of y with respect to t. Now apply condition 3. Apply condition 3. So what is condition 3? Del y by del t at t is equal to 0 is 0. So del y by del t apply condition 3. Del y by del t t is equal to 0. So t is equal to 0. C2 into sin mx as it is. So t is 0. Sin 0 is 0. So this first term is 0. C4 am into cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So C4 am. So C2 into C4 is C2 into C4 into AM into sin mx. Del y by del t at t is equal to 0. Its value is also 0. So this product is 0. Now C2 into C4 into AM into sin mx 
this is zero it means at least one of them is zero that's why the product is zero now can we say c2 is zero no if c2 is zero then see what will happen in equation number 2 C2 is zero, then the uh, solution will be zero. C4, can we say C4 is zero? C4, yes. If we put C4 is equal to zero, then uh, this first term is non-zero, and this term outside the bracket is also non-zero. So it there may be a possibility that C4 is zero. So C4 is equal to zero. We can say C2 is not equal to zero. AM is also not equal to zero. If AM is zero, then uh, M is zero. Mass per unit length width is not equal to zero, so we cannot say sin is zero. Sin m x is equal to zero, we cannot say sin m x is equal to zero. Otherwise, the equation number two will be zero because if we put sin m x is equal to zero, y of x is equal to zero, which is not possible. The only possibility is here that c four is zero. So the arbitrary constant c four is zero. So put in equation number two. C4 is zero. So the, you will get a new equation. Y of x is equal to C2 sin mx into C4 is zero. So C3 cos amt. C4 is zero. So y of x is equal to C2 sin mx into C3 cos amt. Okay. So y of x is equal to C2 into C3 is a new constant because C2 is arbitrary constant. C3 is arbitrary constant. So C2 into C3 is a new arbitrary constant. It is C5. Sin mx into cos mt. This is your latest equation, latest solution for the wave equation. Okay, this is equation number three. Now apply condition two. In wave equation, uh, we apply the first initial condition, then we apply the condition del y bar del k t is equal to zero is equal to zero, and then we apply the second condition of length in that y of l plus x by l. Because length of the string is L, so uh, the second condition is y of L is equal to zero. Now put x is equal to L in equation number three because this is your latest equation now, latest solution. Uh, the equation number one is the suitable solution, most suitable solution. But after applying first condition, uh, uh, remove the arbitrary constant C one because its value is zero. Then uh, in equation number two, we have the latest solution. In equation number two, when we apply the Third condition, then uh, C four uh, is zero. C four is zero, so uh, we have the again a new solution that is equation number three. Now in equation number three, you put x is equal to l. If we put x is equal to l, then the equation it reduces to C five into sine m l into cos a m. Okay. Now this product is zero because y of l is equal to zero. So zero is equal to c five into sine m into cos m. So the product is zero. Okay. So the product is zero. Here, it means either c five is zero, sine m is zero, or cos m is zero. Now you see the equation number. Can we say c five is zero? C five is zero, then the complete solution will be zero. Y of x is zero. So y of x is value will be zero, which is not possible. So c five is not equal to zero. Can we say cos m t is zero? Can we say cos m t is zero? If we put cos m t is equal to zero in equation number three, then the solution will be zero. Y of x is equal to zero, which is not possible. So cos m t is also not equal to zero. Can we say sine m l is zero? Means the value of sine function may be zero for x is equal to l. In equation number three, sine m x it may be zero for the value of X is equal to L, so which is possible. So here we can say sine ML is zero. Sine ML is zero, but we know that sine n pi is always zero for n is equal to one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Sine n pi is zero. So here we can say ML is equal to n because sine ML is zero and sine n pi is also zero. So angles are equal. ML is equal to n pi. ML is equal to n pi means m is equal to n pi upon And where n is equal to one to three up to infinity. Okay. Now put m is equal to n pi upon l in equation number three. So y of x is equal to c five sine n pi x upon l into cos of a n pi e upon l. M is n pi upon l. 
so a n pi t upon n okay so this is equation number 4 after putting m is equal to n pi upon l equation number 3 we have the value of y of x okay so this is equation number 4 after applying the condition second now here taking n is equal to 1 2 3 because the value of n is 1 2 3 so on so taking n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on and varying c5 as b1 b2 b3 varying c5 as b1 b2 b3 the general solution of the given equation is given by the general solution of the given equation is given by y of x is equal to summation bn sin n pi x upon l into cos a n n pi a t upon n and where is from 1 to infinity okay here y of x is equal to summation b n sin n pi x upon l and we have replaced this uh, constant now with the constant c5 by b n our aim is only to find the value of c5 now we have converted that c5 in terms of b n because uh, when n is equal to 1 2 3 and varying c5 as that c5 is varying as b1 b2 b3 the general solution of the equation is given by b n sin n pi x upon l into cos of a n pi t upon l n varies from 1 to infinity. So this is your uh, latest solution equation number 5. Okay. Now our aim is only to find b n because it is the arbitrary function. Now apply condition 4. What is the condition 4 in example? It is given. Four conditions are given. We are applying one by one. The fourth is y of x 0 is equal to k in bracket l x minus x square. Now y of x comma 0 means t is equal to 0. Means put in latest solution. This is equation number 5 is your latest solution. Here you put x t is equal to 0. So you put t is equal to 0. This is your condition. Y of x 0 is equal to k into bracket l x minus x square bracket complete x is between 0 to n. Now put in equation number 5 that t is 0. Y x 0 is equal to put t is equal to 0. t is 0 so cos 0 is 1. So the term is summation bn sin n pi x upon n n varies from 1 to infinity y of x comma 0. So, okay. Now, what is y of x comma 0? It is k into bracket lx minus x square bracket complete is equal to summation bn sin n pi x upon n n varies from 1 to infinity. Okay. This is your uh, term now. Now, how to uh, solve this term? means how to find the value of bn. Our aim is now find the value of bn and for because this is nothing but your half range sine series. k into lx minus x square is equal to summation bn sine n pi x upon n and where is from 1 to infinity. This LHS term is your function f of x. Okay. f of x is equal to summation bn sine n pi x upon l and where is from 1 to infinity. So which is which represents half range, Fourier half range sine series for y of x comma 0 in interval 0 comma n. The formula for bn is here. The formula for bn is f of x is equal to y of x comma 0 is equal to k in bracket l x minus x square bracket n. So bn is equal to, now what is the formula for bn which is equal to 2 upon l integration over 0 to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx. And so it is 2 upon L integration over 0 to L. What is f of x? f of x is k into bracket Lx minus x square bracket complete sin n pi x upon L dx. Okay. Now here 2k upon L is a constant term. So write down outside the bracket 2k upon L inside the bracket Lx minus x square. Now we are going to solve this uh, integration term by q into v rule. So it is Lx minus x square bracket complete sin it's uh, u into v. What is u? Lx minus x square is u and sine of n pi x upon l is v. So u as it is, Lx minus x square as it is and integration of sine function. It is minus cos n pi x upon l upon n pi upon l. Okay. This is u into v1. Integration of v. Minus in bracket Lx minus x square. What is the derivative of Lx minus x square? It is l minus 2 x bracket complete bracket. What is the integration of cos of n pi x upon l? It is sin n pi x upon l upon n upon n pi upon l. Already n pi upon l is there. So n, the term will be n square pi square upon n square. Okay. This is u into v1 minus u dash into v2 plus 
u double dash l minus 2x which derivative with respect to x is minus 2 into v3 this v1 this v2 v3. v1 means integration of v what is v sin n pi x upon l its integration is here in bracket form v this is your v1 then v2 is this second bracket form means integration of cos function is sin minus sin as it is n pi x upon l and the uh, constant term is there n pi upon l so right in denominator n pi upon l already n pi upon l is there so n pi upon l into n pi upon l is n square pi square upon l okay now the this is u derivative of u is u dash here it is l minus 2 then u double dash means l minus 2 x is derivative minus 2 okay then this is v1 v2 v3 Integration of sine n pi x upon l is minus cos minus minus plus cos n pi x upon l upon n pi upon l. Already n square pi square upon l square is there, so n square pi square upon l square into n pi upon l is n cube pi cube upon l cube. Okay, and limit zero to l. Two k upon l as it is. Now upper limit is l, so you put x is equal to l. So l into l, l square minus l square get cancelled. So first term. It get cancelled. The second term, l, uh, if you put x is equal to l in sine function, sine n pi l upon l, l upon l get cancelled. Sine n pi is zero. So this term, second term is also zero. Integration minus two. Third term is here minus two. If you put x is equal to l upper limit, cos n pi l upon l get cancelled. Cos n pi is upon n cube pi cube upon n. So uh, we can write this denominator term n cube pi cube upon n cube as n cube upon n cube, n cube upon n cube into pi cube minus two as it is into cos n pi. Okay. Now put lower limit zero. When we put lower limit zero, then give negative sign minus x is zero, zero minus zero is zero. So first term zero. In second term, sine function is there. So if we put x is equal to zero, sine zero is zero. So this middle term is also zero. Last term. Minus minus plus because we are putting lower limit, so negative sign of lower limit into this minus two is plus two. Uh, x is zero, so cos zero is one. And upon n cube pi cube upon n cube, so we can write this denominator term as n cube upon n cube pi cube. Okay. Now here two k upon l constant term as it is. Now two l cube upon n cube pi cube is a common term in both the terms. So you write. The term uh, as a common two minus two l cube upon l cube pi cube in bracket cos n pi minus one because minus sign is also common so two k upon l is equal to two k upon l into minus two l cube upon l cube pi cube inside the bracket cos n pi its value is this is the formula cos n pi is minus two rest n minus one okay. And now you multi you do the multiplication of these two terms. Two k upon l into minus two l cube upon n cube pi cube. Two to the four, that one l get cancelled out numerator, denominator, and so it is four k l square upon n cube pi cube. In bracket, one minus minus one rest to n. Why we are changing these uh, terms minus one rest to n minus one? One minus one is less than because to uh, we are going to observe this minus one sign. We multiply this bracket term by minus one, which will be minus of minus one less than plus one. So we are in the term. So this is the value of B. After finding the value of B, and you put in the equation number equation number five because which is the, your uh, latest solution for the given. Example: We have removed C1, C4, then we have replaced C5 by Bn here. This is your latest solution here. You put the value of Bn, and then you will get your solution. Y of x is equal to put the value of Bn in this equation number five. So y of x is equal to summation 4k L square upon n cube pi cube into sine of n pi x. Upon n into cos of n pi upon l into one minus minus one less than because 
the term of bn is here this complex term we put the like bn is the remaining term in equation number 5 okay. and then you put uh, here you know that minus 1 by 2 and its value is 1 when n is even and its value is uh, negative or when n is odd it is minus 1 So when the terms are n is odd at that time, this term will be non-zero. If n is even, then in that case, this complex term will be zero. Okay, so you will get only odd terms here. One minus of minus one. When n is odd, minus one plus n is minus one. Minus one is plus. So one plus one will be two. Two four to the eight. Eight k n square upon five two bracket. When n is odd at that time, n is equal to one. So one upon one six times five cos of a pi k upon one plus one upon one upon three q times three pi x upon one cos of three a pi k upon one. Only uh, all terms are here not zero. When n is even at that time, the terms are zero. Here. So this is the solution for the equation of the equation. So this equation is. Is the required solution. In last term, uh, all the arbitrary constants are absent. C one, C two, C three, C four. In starting, in the most suitable solution, so I written the most suitable solution here. Here, y of x is equal to C one cos m x plus C two sin m x. In another bracket, C three cos m t plus C four sin m t. So, uh, using this most suitable solution, I am using the uh, Boundary condition. There are four boundary conditions. Using the conditions one by one, we have uh, we have removed all the arbitrary constants. C one, C two, C three, C four. Last we have the solution, which is a particular solution where we have removed all the arbitrary constants. So this is the way. In every uh, wave equation, when there is an example of wave equation, the steps are same. You see the conditions. You remember the conditions, and you apply one by one. When we apply condition one, at the time we have C one is zero. You know, we apply after condition one, we apply the third condition of L by bar delta of T is equal to zero is equal to zero. This third condition, and then we have the value of C four is zero, and then we apply the second condition. And after applying second condition, we have the value of n is equal to n pi upon n. Okay. And, uh, After getting the value of arbitrary constant in every step, you write down the new solution, latest solution in every step. Okay, and these steps are same for every equation of uh, every example of wave equation. So remember it. Only change will be here uh, how to find b n. So what is the function? Because y of x y y of x comma zero, its value will be different in every example. So here will be change only. So up to this uh, equation number five, you, you can write the solution easily because the steps are same. So if you solve this example, you will get at least the example is what is this eight marks? The uh, example is value of eight marks. If you solve up to equation number five, you will get five marks easily. Okay, so the steps are same for every example of every equation. So here the The one-dimensional wave equation, this equation, yeah, this term, this equation, this example, this topic is over here. Equation is also over here. Thank you.